It was one year ago that a police officer shot and killed a security guard on duty at a suburban nightclub. CBS 2's Jim Williams reports his family wants to know why no charges have been filed against that officer. Say his name. Jamel Roberson. Say his name. Jamel Roberson. Jamel Roberson's family and friends shout his name to remind the public what happened one year ago. When Roberson responded to shots fired at Manny's Blue Room, a nightclub in Robbins. A loving child, a great man of God, a person that loved people, a protector. Roberson, protecting patrons as an armed security guard, was shot to death by a Midlothian police officer. Because your man shot my man. Who did? The police shot security. Attorney Lee Merritt, representing Roberson's family, says state's attorney Kim Fox's office tells him the office still has witnesses to interview. This is not an adequate answer, Merritt says. Over a year later, uh, not making an indictment decision is painful for this community. It adds to the burden for this mother and this family. Uh, so we are not satisfied. An autopsy showed Roberson had been shot four times in the back and side. People at Manny's Blue Room that night said he was subduing a suspect when the officer fired. Even as they shouted to police, Roberson was a security guard. I'm telling him he's working with us. Cool out. He's working with us. He shot him. And it's been a horrible year for me. A state's attorney spokesperson told us their words. We are currently reviewing the matter. The police officer was placed on paid administrative leave soon after the shooting. We were unable to reach Midlothian police to find out his status today. Live in the uh, newsroom, Jim Williams, CBS 2 News. Thank you, Jim.